Okay, here's a short video on how to replace the spring that's opposite the micro switch on a new G uh, 1050, 1055, 2050 and 2055 robot. Now, the first thing you'll have to do is remove the robot head from the actual recycling net. There's another video showing you how to do this. What you also need to do is on the side of the robot, you'll notice that there's four finger locators. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now if you hold those and you push and you pull back, it releases them. The whole cover comes off nice and easily. Now you can remove the balls if you like. It's not really that necessary, but we'll do it just to make the job easier. All right, now, if we have a, a close look at that component, there's a, a screw Phillips screw down in the bottom. We simply put the screwdriver in and we remove the screw. Obviously this one's not broken, but it's the same procedure. So this is what a new spring will look like. I'll get my hand out the way. Right, it's pretty simple to replace. The first thing we do is we slide the screw. Have a look. You slide the screw in there. We put our screwdriver through to locate. We position it. And we screw it back down again. Okay, not too tight. Once that's done, okay, grab our ball feed cover and we snap it into place. Just make sure that the, the clips on the back are located correctly and you're right to go to put it back into the robot. Okay, so in this short video, I'm gonna try and show you how we put the robot head back into the recycling tray. So this is what Nuji calls a ball dam. It's a good way of testing that you have the right size balls. They should fit through there nicely. We can locate the ball dam in that spot there. And we can place all the balls on the opposite side. Now, we grab our robot head, we slide it into the recycling tray, slip it over the top and locate it. Once it's located, we get our little L lugs, place them to the top, just tighten them, they don't have to be over tightened. There's one on either side. Now this applies to both the 2040, the 2050, the 2055, and even the new brilliant 3050 XL robot. Thanks for watching.